So tools and equipment. And obviously if I can see your face right now, I can almost see you getting all that dreamy look in your eyes because tools and equipment is where it's at for many of us. And again, this was my uh, area of expertise in our company, the hardscaping was the tools and the equipment. So that was something I did every fall. I did all the purchasing and did all my research. I loved it. I loved looking to see what a piece of equipment was out there would lead to the greatest efficiencies. And again, uh, your equipment, that is your number one for efficiencies, for greater efficiencies. It's, you're gonna do it through equipment. And obviously labor is huge too, but the equipment, and you think about equipment, equipment is phenomenal because again, it has no emotional issues. It doesn't get sick. You don't have um, vacation. It shows up every day. You know, there's so many uh, advantages to equipment and you wanna really reflect upon that. And I wanna give you just a, a simple example. Um, we had a contractor, he came out from Minnesota and he bought our all-rounder. That's the one on tracks um, with the suction head. So he runs two, normally two crews of 12 installed in pool patios. And so he bought this equipment from us. He bought a, the all-rounder. And so just to prove a point, he went out with one of his guys and he laid 21 pallets in one day. So I think this is about third grade math. If you do the math, what it takes for 12 guys to install a patio of that magnitude, all of a sudden you're dealing with two guys with this all-rounder and you're installing that kind of volume in one day. If you're doing large format pavers, that's a solution. Again, I keep hearing back, labor, I can't find labor, I can't find labor. You're gonna combat that by the right tools and the right equipment. We have to be smart moving forward. And again, investing in the right equipment is crucial. Now, I would also ask or encourage you, consult your Consult with your business consultant, your accountant, visit with them and look at what's gonna be the best move. Sometimes there's tax benefits in buying a piece of equipment. So I want you to encourage you to do your homework on that end of it. Um, be wise, don't just spend it foolishly. And again, you've heard me say this, don't buy the $80,000 pickup that's gonna sit at the curb. That's not a billable item. You wanna buy a piece of equipment or tools that are billable every job. You buy an excavator, that's billable on the job. You buy the, the suction unit, our all-rounder. That Again, that's something you're gonna bill out. So be wise in making the right choice and the right decisions. Equipment has come a long ways. When we started our tool business in 2006, I talked to us blue in the face, guys like, I got help to do that. I got help to do that. I don't need that. And, and it's, it's, it's amazing to see where this has come from because guys' eyes really have been opened and they're realizing, I need equipment and I need tools. We don't have the labor force we had. And I'll give you a funny scenario. I was at a show years ago and a guy showed up with his whole crew, about seven guys, and he's big time Charlie. And he's looking at my videos of using a block clamp for setting 104 pound blocks and hauling two at a time. And he's laughing, he's oh, like, look at these sissies. You know, <laughs> and the next sentence he told me, he said, I just went in for back surgery. And I had to scratch my head. I looked at him and I was joking. I said, do you hear what you're saying? And I, I actually got the whole crew laughing. I'm like, <laughs> I said, my father-in-law used to tell me a story or he says, if anybody accuses you of being stupid, don't open up your mouth and prove it. So I was kind of joking around with this guy, but at the end of the, end of the conversation, he's like, ah, oh, you might be onto something. Well, I'll tell you what, we are onto something because it's amazing. And you can look at our warehouse and our shelves are empty with block clamps because guys are not hauling block anymore, which is super exciting for me because I think OSHA just passed a law. You cannot pick anything up over 53 pounds. So that puts out pretty much most all your retaining wall blocks. So be smart, invest in the right equipment, clamps, simple, small hand tools, do your research, find out what tools are gonna to take you to new levels. It changes the whole mentality of your crew. If all of a sudden you're expecting guys to haul 82 pound block all day long and put them on a wall, and it might be up here, it might be way down here. So you got major back issues that you're dealing with and workman's comp claims. Do the research, get yourself the right equipment. Again, the equipment's not only gonna last just today, you're talking investment that's gonna last years. Our tools have three year warranty on it. Some of the equipment I was talking about is all around, you're gonna get, a, it's a 10 year investment. The right compaction equipment, invest in the right compaction equipment and buy the right tools that are quality that you're gonna get a tremendous amount of growth out of it for years to come. So planning ahead is really what Pave Tool is all about. We're here to help you, the contractor. We'd love for you to call us. You can even set up an appointment. Come down, whether it be small tools you're interested or whether it's our larger paver laying equipment. We have our training facility here. We call it the Try Before You Buy program. You can come to our facility. You can actually physically use the tools hands-on. Try Before You Buy. 
we'll help you take that heart out of hardscaping.